Good evening, folks. Well, tonight, before we uh, come to prayer, uh, we are going to look at Psalm 136. So if you do have your Bible, please open it up. Uh, and we'll just read it in, in sections as we go through it, even now, uh, tonight. <clears throat> Verses 1 to 3 begin with this, that the Lord is good. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. O oh, give thanks to the God of gods, for his mercy endures forever. O oh, give thanks to the Lord of lords, for his mercy endures forever. The Lord, L-O-R-D, all capitals, it's his own name, it's his covenant name. He has revealed it to us. And in revealing his name, he has revealed his character to us, um, what he's about. He has revealed even that covenant with us, that bond that we have with him. And it's based upon his mercy here each time in, in every verse in this psalm. His mercy endureth forever. Uh, and above everything else that you need or you might think you need, mercy is the big one. Because we're sinners. Sinners need mercy again and again. And so it is every verse of the psalm is pointing us ultimately uh, to the cross of the Lord Jesus Christ. Where we see the high point of God's mercy to us. His mercy, it is sufficient because God is supreme. If he gives us mercy, if that's the source of the mercy we're living by, then all is well. He is the God of gods, Lord of lords. Romans 8, 34 asks the question, who is he who condemns? And of course, our own conscience condemns us and there be others in the world who would be willing to condemn us. And sometimes we give them far too many reasons to do just that. But the wonderful news in the gospel in Romans 8.34, he, who is he who condemns? Actually, you know what? It is Christ who died. So they can accuse uh, all they want. They can condemn you all they want. But remember, believer, it is Christ who died and furthermore is also risen, who is even at the right hand of God and who also makes intercession for us. His mercy has saved us. His mercy has brought us to this point now uh, after lockdown when things are beginning to open up again and we are sure of that mercy for the rest of opening up uh, and for the rest of this year uh, and for all eternity. His mercy endureth forever. The Lord is good. Secondly in verses 4 to 9 the Lord is creator. He is creator. To him who alone does great wonders, for his mercy endures forever. To him who by wisdom made the heavens, for his mercy endureth forever. To him who laid out the earth above the waters, for his mercy endureth forever. To him who made great lights, for his mercy endures forever. The sun to rule by day, for his mercy endures forever. The sun and stars to rule by night. Moon and stars to rule by night, for his mercy endures forever he is the creator of all things he controls every created thing in our world and in creation yes we can we can see great wonders we can see his wisdom displayed uh, we see order in the way that the world is laid out and the way it continues we can study the great lights uh, and see a reflection of god's glory and sovereignty we, we can look at the stars I wonder, have you seen Neowise yet in the sky, that, that comet going across uh, our night sky throughout July? The Lord made it. He made all things. And yet the psalmist doesn't draw our attention particularly to, you know, the, the greatness of God in relation to creation. Rather, he brings us back every time to the mercy of God. And it is a mercy that all of the great wonders in creation actually don't consume us. Uh, mercy that we have the heavens, we have our atmosphere, it protects us from outer space. Uh, we have mercy in the laws of physics. It's a mercy that water freezes at zero degrees C. 
there is order in the world. Mercy in that time is uh, a constant. The sun and moon, they keep time for us. Uh, mercy in their light, mercy in their heat, which we simply need as a planet. But all of that, all of the life that that produces comes at the command of Almighty God. He is able, he is the creator. But it's mercy. Mercy that brings that creative ability. Um, you know, brings it to bear for our good. E even in another way too, when we look at the stars, there is mercy there. Uh, we can take that to Genesis 15 verse 5, where God makes a promise to Abraham. Uh, then he brought him outside and said, Look now toward heaven and count the stars if you are able to number them. So shall your descendants be. There's a thought for you, isn't it? Which one is you? When you see the night sky full of stars, the Lord is our creator and he has mercy for us. Uh, thirdly, the Lord is our redeemer. Uh, verse 10 uh, to 22, to him who struck Egypt and their firstborn, for his mercy endures forever, and brought out Israel from among them, for his mercy endures forever. With a strong hand and with an outstretched arm, for his mercy endures forever. To him who divided the Red Sea in two, for his mercy endures forever. And made Israel pass through the midst of it, for his mercy endures forever. But overthrew, overthrew Pharaoh and his army in the Red Sea. For his mercy endures forever. To him who led his people through the wilderness. For his mercy endures forever. To him who struck down great kings. For his mercy endures forever. And slew famous kings. For his mercy endures forever. Zion king of the Amorites. For his mercy endures forever. And Og king of Bashan. For his mercy endures forever. And gave their land as an heritage. For his mercy endures forever. A heritage to Israel, his servant, for his mercy endures forever. Yes, the psalmist sings of God's deliverance in the past. Uh, and in every verse here, there, there is mercy again from God. God knows his, his own people. Uh, God knows their hearts. Uh, he, he knows they don't uh, merit or deserve to be saved. Uh, they don't to be uh, they don't deserve to be you know, brought through the wilderness and provided for each and every day. But God did that. Uh, giving them uh, food to eat and, and water to drink. Uh, taking care of their enemies along the way. God did it. Why did he do it? Because he's merciful. It's who he is. His, his mercy endures forever. Think for a moment please and of the mercies... Uh, in our own deliverance, even in recent months, since lockdown, since mid-March, you know, haven't we been in spared? We've been spared in infections and deaths. We've been kept uh, as well from disunity and squabbles within the congregation. We've been blessed with increased fellowship over the phone on a greater level than before. Um, we've been unable to keep on hearing sermons, whether it's... Uh, online or through cd uh, and not just from knock some of you've been listening into other places i know most of the time we go uh oma epc um but th this is a wonderful blessing from god uh his mercy endureth in those things and and even our own sermons too yes they they go a little further now than what they have done before the lord is kind and we enjoy wonderful weather in those earlier months of lockdown haven't we received our daily bread and 10,000 other reasons to bless the Lord? We're able to come back to church now. I've just kind of realised more and more lately that many churches aren't able to come back. You know, they're, they're too big. They just can't do it just yet. And we must pray for them and that the Lord would intervene and help them and help them to get back in good time. Uh, but for now, you know, we're back. And that's a real blessing. Uh, not everybody's back, but there doesn't seem to be any rivalry or jealousy or squabbling about it. I'm really pleased. The Lord has been very, very kind to us. We are a, a small, yes, but we're a happy band of brothers and sisters in Christ. He's given us little outreach opportunities as well, hasn't he? Uh, in Ardcarn, 
uh, lately and even with junior camp with the knock folk who were involved in that as well we thank the lord and of course we can go back further into our history in knock uh, we can go back in our histories as own as as individuals uh, and there we see the mercy of god uh, and our tale is the same as the psalmist tale it keeps on going it never runs out the lord's mercy endures forever and in his mercy he remembers us verses 23 to 26 the lord remembers who remembered us in our lowly state for his mercy endures forever and rescued us from our enemies for his mercy endureth forever who gives food to all flesh for his mercy endureth forever who give thanks to the god of heaven for his mercy endureth forever yeah, sometimes we can find ourselves low. Uh, maybe even now tonight you can feel that you're a bit on your own. Um, you maybe feel not many care, not many people calling, not many people remembering you. Maybe you've been there um, many times during lockdown. And yet if you're a believer, you'll know this, that the Lord remembered you. He always remembers us. He remembers his own children. He cannot forget us. At times, yes, we feel surrounded by enemies. Uh, maybe it's uh, neighbours. Maybe it's others, perhaps even in the church. Uh, maybe it's your own sins that seem to uh, creep in and, and surround you or, or, or guilt. Here we're reminded again, his mercy endures forever. It endures forever because that work that Christ accomplished on the cross of Calvary has eternal significance. It even reached back the way to, into the Old Testament. Those Old Testament believers saved by the mercy of God. Where? In the sacrifices? No, ultimately in the sacrifice. That's where the mercy was. It lay in the future. His mercy endures forever. We now looking back, we look back to the cross and there we see it. His mercy endures forever. But that's where we see it most clearly. The mercy of God as Christ our Saviour lays down his life for us. He is um, the great God of gods, the true living God the God of heaven. He is uh, the creator of all things. He is the one who is overseeing all of history, not only of his own people, but all the world. And he's got mercy for you and me. That's who he is. He is the merciful God. So let us then come to prayer once again tonight. Cast ourselves upon him, Bring others in the congregation before him and their needs before the Lord. Knowing this, this is our confidence. This is why we're coming to pray. His mercy endures forever. Amen.